Hey, Dave, what's going on? Just got your message. Uh, just at the end of the season here for my yeah. echo chains. Yeah. It's getting cold. So uh, I want to put it away. Got some gas in here. What do you recommend as the best method to get the fuel out of here and make sure it's ready to go in the spring? Okay, what I recommend, Dave, is open the gas cap, dump the gas out. Yeah. And then what you want to do is run it dry. Run it dry. Okay, so as you see, I just had it running there, so it's yeah. warm. Yeah. We'll start. Uh, it's not warm in the shop, as you can see still here. Yeah, but... I see your breath, man. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Um, so, uh, this gas, I just put this in here a couple days ago when I was doing some limbing. So, yeah. uh, it's still good gas. I don't want to waste it. Yeah. Um, but I'm worried if I put it back into my gas can, all of the, you know, debris and stuff will fall into the gas and cause me issues later on. Um, do you have like a clean, okay? sorry, go ahead. I've, I've seen, um, someone use a, like a funnel and then put a towel over it and yeah. kind of use it as a filter. Yeah. Yeah, do that. Okay, so um, I'll do that for this gas, but if it's old gas and I don't really want it, don't you know, don't need it, what do I do with it? Uh, what I tell people to do is, if you're just doing this as a hobby and you're not like collecting 10 gallons a week, just put it in an old oil can and go, okay. and go to like, uh, you know, a shop or a garage where you take your car. In Canada, mm -hmm. you could go to Canadian Tire. And if uh -huh. you're... Yeah, like just go to the garage part and just say, look, guys, I just have like half a liter of gas here. Do you mind taking this and disposing it up of it for me? They'll say, yeah. Okay. You just don't want to show up every week with like five gallons of it. Like you? <laughs> so I've just got to kind of hold the filter with one hand and saw on the yep. other. Yeah. Put it around here. Pull it straight up and down. Yep. Or you can dump it into another container and then dump it in your gas can. That might be easier. It might be easier to do it, you know. Then you're not holding the chainsaw and the yeah. gas can and the funnel. Just uh, had some apple yeah. juice here. Yeah, it's dry, no water. What's that? Yeah, it's dry. Clean yeah, there. yeah. Not a very big gas tank on this little saw here, though. Oh, I know, it's little. The lid sometimes gets full. Okay. Yeah, the gas looks really good in there, but yeah. I don't and, want to do and what I do too, Dave, is I leave the gas cap off on my two cycle equipment for about a day. Okay. Uh, the reason for that is sometimes there's a bit of uh, fuel left in the tank, you know, a little uh, <laughs> film. And yeah. also, it helps the fuel filter to dry. Okay. I mean, it, it's not totally necessary. I just do it. Maybe I've got a bit of OCD. I don't know, but I, I just like to, to do it that way. Better to be safe than sorry. Yeah. I, like I said, I never have issues with my equipment not starting. Then I can take this gas covered rag here and just kind of clean everything up. Yeah, you can. Yeah. And make sure you dispose of that properly as well. Okay. Now, I've got the gas cap off here. Yep. Um, am I done? No. Uh, you know what? Just put the gas cap on just for now. Okay. And then start up your saw. Okay. It's not going to run for long. Make sure you've got vent some ventilation there in your shop. Open the door or something. Yeah. Got, got the, the door, door open? open. Okay. Yeah. So your saw is going to run for a little bit. When it dies, which what I do is I turn the choke on because then it helps to suck up even more gas that's left in the fuel line or in the cart. Okay. Okay, so just do that in front of the audience here. Okay, and what and, about the what about the primer bulb? It's got fuel in it right there. Yeah, Sorry, you want purge. purge it. Yes. Purge it? Yep. How many times? Like uh, what am I doing? Purge it until it? you hardly see gas in it. So I'm pump because I'm pumping the, the or purging the fuel that's in the bulb back down into the tank. Uh what it actually does is those primer setups, they purge air in the tank, which puts pressure and sends whatever gas is left of the fuel line. Uh, okay, so that's why... That's why it was important to have the gas cap back on. Right. Okay, got it. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and this is dry now. Yeah. Yeah, okay. we, we heard it. Yeah, yeah start her up, man. Choke on or off? On. Yeah. 
Ignition's on. Give it, a, give it a little shot of gas. Just repeat the process one more time, just to make sure. Yeah, you know what? Do it a third time. Watch the throttle, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, we're good, Dave. We don't, we don't want, we don't want to run it, uh, you know, excessively lean. That's it. Yeah, that's it, Dave. And then leave the cap off for a day. Okay. I mean, it's not necessary, but I, I just do it. Here's a, a question that I always get on YouTube about putting it away that way. People, okay. people ask me if I put it away that way aren't all the rubber parts, you know, the diaphragms and, and everything in the carb, are they going to go hard and crusty and cause issues? Uh, well, the answer to that, and this is according to my experience and also my mentor, which you, I think you met in my shop this summer. Yep. The answer to that is no. Okay. So rubber parts, like we saw in your cutoff saw the other day, Yep. No matter what you do, whether you leave the gas in, whether you run it dry, rubber parts only have a shelf life of so much time. Okay, okay. so they're going to go bad no matter what. I mean, when you put tires on your car, okay, whether you put 100,000 kilometers or 50,000 kilometers, after X number of years, those tires need to be replaced. Right. There's even expiry dates on tires. So people, yeah, yeah. So like some people think, well, I only drove my car like 3000 kilometers. I've ha had it parked for 15 years. Well, right. the tires are expired and it's the same with chainsaws. People might buy a brand new chainsaw, yeah. use it once or twice, put it away. 10 years later, they go to use it, whether they left gas or not in it. Yeah. Chances are these parts have hardened anyway okay okay so that's my explanation okay um i mean but everybody can put away stuff they want you know so if, if people cannot do what you did today right they might want to get a, a good stabilizer or make sure they're using premium gas with no ethanol right and and you know leave it in there start it every month okay so it all depends okay. on on what your situation is at home right you know some people have no garage they, they've got you know they're, they're keeping their chainsaw in the trunk of their car right and they've got nowhere to dump the gas or or they can't even right. start a saw in their neighborhood so this but if, if you had to pick the best method um for the longevity of the equipment that's the way you do it absolutely because cool. no matter what stabilizers you use no matter what gas you use they can still they're still prone to deteriorate. Okay. Okay. So if, if there's nothing in there to go bad. Right. That makes okay. Sense. Nothing will go bad. All right. Throw it on the shelf and uh, see it again in the spring, I guess. Thanks so much for your help. All right, Dave. Anytime. You're welcome. Everybody watching, make sure to subscribe to Dave's channel. The link is, link is under the video. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and you will see Dave and I in another video. Have a good day. Awesome. Take care.